Here we are in beautiful Pompano Beach over by the Hillsborough Lighthouse behind me. We're here to check out one of our jellyfish installations just down the street, and we are gonna enjoy the beautiful scenery a little bit this morning. This aquarium's been running for about a year and a half flawlessly at this point, and everything's looking really good. Okay, we've just arrived here, grabbing the jellyfish, and uh, we'll take them upstairs. Tank's looking nice and clear. Yeah, it's looking beautiful. Yeah, we're opening up the tank right now, making sure there's enough room so we can get these jellyfish acclimated. Checking out the brine shrimp, it looks like it's doing just fine up here. Got a little reservoir directly above where we dose it into the tank on a regular basis. Wow, these jellyfish are really big. Uh, they've been living in here for about a year at this point. Some of the bigger jellyfish that we have in our custom aquariums, these guys are just about dinner plate sized uh, and they're doing really, really well. They really have a lot of space uh, depth wise in this tank to uh, move around. A lot of our tanks are a little bit thinner, but I think that the wider aquarium itself gives them a lot more room to be able to maneuver around and, and grow nice and big. The TDS is good. That means everybody's doing their job right, which is awesome. And let's pull out some of these jellyfish so we can stick them in the tank. Very well packed. Mitch knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's getting really good at the packing. You can ship these guys cross country in this box. They only went about 15 miles from the office. Oh yeah, beautiful. And here we go. Step one of acclimation. Lower them down into the tank. And let them get adjusted to the temperature in here for Oh, 20 minutes before we um, start adjusting to salinity. Jellyfish acclimation is a little bit different from the normal acclimation you'd see with fish or corals. They don't have to be adjusted to the light all that much, but one of the main things is quick changes in temperature and salinity can cause issue for them. So you really wanna make sure that they're gradually adjusted to their proper temperature and salinity before you release them in the tank. Otherwise, they get a little frilly, they don't do as well. In the ocean, they only live for about six to eight months on a regular basis, so that's a seasonal creature. Inside of an aquarium with standardized temperature, standardized food, um, they're able to live for about a year and a half maybe upwards of two years, depending on um, the aquarium, the environmental conditions, if it has a chiller or if the AC is kept nice and cool all the time, uh, they can really live double or triple their normal lifespan in a custom aquarium. Okay, now what we're gonna do is get them adjusted to the salinity in this aquarium. Usually pretty easy, use the floating bag method. You dip it down in the water a little bit in order to um, add a little bit of the water from the aquarium directly into their bag. Make sure they're nice and acclimated before they slide on down into the aquarium. We're out here on the beach on their beautiful back porch. But if you look right over there, there's some stakes tied down along with pink string. And what those are, are sea turtle nests. Uh, and during certain times of the year, sometimes during full moons, they end up all hatching and going out into the ocean. And it's really important if you own a home anywhere out here, a lot of them have a special type of glass that if you look at this glass behind us, it's meant to be uh, very restrictive of light coming out just so that the turtles don't get confused and start going towards houses as opposed to going back out towards the ocean. A little education, always good. The full moon part I'm not too sure about. Okay, now we're gonna release them after acclimating for about 20 minutes. We did a bag float first off for the temperature and a phone call halfway in between. I don't know the number. I think they're calling about my car's warranty. So it'll take them another 
Oh, about eight to 12 hours to become really neutrally buoyant inside of the tank. These guys are about 95% water. That would cause them, if the salinity they came from is a little bit different, to float or sink. So these guys will probably stay a little bit lower in the tank for the first eight hours. When we come back again next week, they'll be a lot more neutrally buoyant inside of the tank and be free floating, kind of like these bigger guys right above them. Don't forget to clean up after yourself. Great, they're looking good. I'm gonna add some brine shrimp into the tank. These two right here, these three, are all doing spectacular. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Massive, nine massive jellyfish in this tank right now, along with all the little guys that we just put in here. So hopefully in the next couple months, we'll have a lot of really big jellyfish all doing extremely well. You just saw a beautiful installation right down the street over here in Pompano Beach, and the jellyfish hopefully right now are acclimating well and nice and happy and healthy.